Welcome back to the better half guys. Got some Thanksgiving leftovers. We've got a delicious recipe that's going to use some of our leftover stuff yes. from Thanksgiving. Uh, the following our segment is sponsored by Festival Foods. We've got Lauren and Miltime Minty from there hanging out with us. Lauren, what are we doing today? Yes, yeah, so we're using up those Thanksgiving leftovers to make a pizza. So we're making leftover turkey and cranberry barbecue pizza. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know about you guys, but after Thanksgiving, I don't really necessarily feel like heating up another plate of everything that I just ate. Sometimes, yes. but sometimes it's nice to change it up and make right. something a little bit di Absolutely. Di different, especially if maybe you're doing some shopping. Um, this is really, really quick and easy to make. Perfect. So let's get started. So today we're using our um, fresh pizza dough. It's a wheat variety from our bakery department at Festival. Um, so what we want to do, we're just going to use our pan as a way to kind of roll this out. We're just going to put a little bit of flour on the pan so it doesn't stick. stick. Yep. And then we're going to take our pizza dough and we've let it sit for 45 minutes at room temp so it rises. Um, and then we've got our dough and then heaven, if you want to roll this out, yeah, I'm going to get a little to. flour. I've never done this. This is not the <laughs> first time for everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So really what you want to do is just Push. roll out your dough the best Clearly you I've can. Never done it. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's a fun thing too to get the kids in the kitchen and give them each a try to roll it out a little bit. You gotta put some muscle in there. You gotta really like Lauren, get you in there. Get away. <laughs> making you work. <laughs> So we do have yeah, one there. that's done. So while you keep working on that, I'm gonna grab yep. the one that's done. Why don't we do that? <laughs> yeah. So we have our pizza dough that has been cooked. So um, what we would do after you finish uh, rolling this out, we would brush the edges just with a little bit of olive oil and we don't have to do that. But, just for flavor? Um, yeah, just to prevent it, just make it a little brown on the edges, but also prevent it from sticking a little bit um, and give it some good flavor. So Perfect. now we can get started now that heaven has worked up a sweat. Yeah, I literally have. Now we can get started on our toppings. Um, so if one of you gals wants sure. to mix together, we have Barbecue sauce, and then we have cranberry sauce that we're mixing together to make our. Yep. All right. So I'll get this out of here for you. And that's you. cool because I feel like it gives Thank the barbecue you. sauce a, like a sweet little flavor by using that cranberry. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Like savory. Yes. Got it. So um, we're just using some leftover cranberry sauce yep. from Thanksgiving, and we're just mixing it up. Um, and you can mix it up with either a whisk or just with the utensil there. Sarah got the easy job. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just mixing this up, give it that good um, barbecue sauce flavor. And then Sarah, if you want to put about half of it on the pizza here, and then we're going to reserve the other half to mix our leftover turkey in. And it's so pretty. It is. It is I love Thanksgiving food at any time. I know you're saying some people get tired of yeah. eating leftovers. I can eat leftovers for about three days, but this is like a fun way to still, you know, use what you have in your kitchen. Yeah. This is a good idea for a sauce base instead yes. of, you know, it's a typical tomato sauce. Exactly. This is such a good idea. Mm -hmm. And sometimes cranberry sauce can get a little boring to just oh, eat yeah, plain for the sure. next day. So this is a sure. fun way to use it. So here we're going to dump in our leftover turkey. So if you want to mm. mix that up. And then I'm going to put the cheese on. So we're going to put our cheese on. We're just using a Monterey Jack today, but you could really Perfect. use whatever cheese you have on hand at home. Awesome. And you can always replace mm -hmm. your turkey. Like we always have ham, we'll have chicken, like yeah, we'll have a variety right. of meat. So you guys don't have to use turkey. Mix you can totally up. swap that out with something else. Definitely. Because yeah. yeah. you can really make this recipe all year round, but you could mm -hmm. use the cran, cran, cran can't cranberry sauce <laughs> and then you could also use like a deli rotisserie chicken or just leftover chicken works right. too mm -hmm. yeah so you can pour that right. right on here so we've got our chicken this just helps give it some good flavor and prevent right. it from drying out whether you're using chicken or if you're using turkey because turkey can also get a little dry sometimes the next day Awesome. Thank you, Sarah. So pretty. And then we're just gonna top it with some some red onion just kind of that typical um, barbecue chicken type mm -hmm, pizza yeah. flavors. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to pop this in the oven. It only takes about 10 minutes to cook since oh, we've already easy. cooked right. our dough, mm -hmm. um, which is helpful. So I will pop this in. And then if you ladies want to grab the finished one. Of course. Do we want to grab the finished one? <laughs> <laughs> and it's so question. pretty. I love how all the colors come together. Super yeah. simple. 
and I like anything that our yes. kids can help out with, obviously. Yeah. So what we would do then, and um, we've already done this a little bit, but I like cilantro quite a bit, is we just garnish <laughs> with a little bit of fresh cilantro just to give it a little bit of green, um, but also to give it some good flavor, too. Sure. Well, I'm just going to reach in and grab one. We don't have say, place out, but, have, yeah. have, a, have a taste? I Let's also see. will. Let me know what you think about the, the pizza dough, what your thoughts are. It's great. Good? Mm -hmm. You can't really like, tell mm -hmm. that it's wheat. I mean, mm -hmm. no, and I like that when it's healthy, but it still tastes good because sometimes you don't want to cut your taste because you're trying yeah. to be healthier. So this is awesome. Yeah. No, it's yeah, really good. Yeah, we made a wheat pizza dough for we made pretzel bites. Um, you can do so much with it, which is really fun. And again, it's just fun to pretzel play bites. around with. That's fun. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, so we've got a recipe on our blog for that too. But it's really versatile and um, just really fun to work with and something different for Thanksgiving leftovers. Absolutely. So great. So there you have it, a fun and easy way to take your Thanksgiving leftovers or your Christmas leftovers or whatever it is and make it into an easy pizza, something you can do with your kids. Make sure you guys check it out. Check out uh, more on the Festival Foods website. More on the better half coming up.